This fossil was unveiled to the public last evening by the State Minister for Tourism, Agnes Akiror, at the French ambassador's residence. It was recently discovered in Karamoja after 25 years of studies on the origins of the great apes. The Ugandan and French scientists involved in this discovery say the skull was exposed by soil erosion but was preserved by the carbonates in the volcanic ash that erupted and settled over it 20 million years ago. We can compare it properly with several modern apes like gorillas and chimpanzees and then we will reconstruct the skull properly because it's not so well deformed. It's, uh, so we, we have a lot of exp expectancy to put it back in a very good shape. Several skeletal elements of the fossil have been attributed to the Uganda Pythescus major species, the only one in Africa, and a few conclusions have been arrived at based on the details of the fossil. But it's a young male because the, the, the canines were very solid, so it's a, it's a male, but also the teeth were not worn. And if they are not worn out, that means that the teeth have not been functional. They have not been eating too much. So they are very fresh. So that means it was a young adult. So actually it's a young male adult. The discovery of the fossil gives Uganda major significance in human heritage and will go a long way in providing more information on the evolution of humans. Our government is committed to this course. Funds have been put aside for more research. The fossil will be put together after cleaning and will be displayed at the Uganda Museum. Kadoda, NTV, tonight.